measuring in quarters and eighths. So if I take an inch and divide it into four equal parts, I'm in quarters or fourths. So if I look at an inch here and four parts, it's these longer ones. This is one quarter. This is two quarters. Now, two quarters are two fourths. They're both even. They both divide by two. Divide them both by two. It's one half. So right here, I'm at a half of an inch or two fourths of the way. This next line, the next long line there is three fourths. So one quarter, two quarters, three quarters. And when I get to an inch, I'm at four quarters, which is how I, that's one. So everywhere on a ruler, I can always count by fourths. So for this next one, there's one fourth, two fourths, which is a half, three fourths, and four fourths. So in this first example, I can see I'm past two inches, two and one fourth, two fourths, and three fourths. So this is in fact two and three fourths. For this next one, counting by fourths, I'm at one fourth and two fourths. And again, get used to the idea, two over four, they're both even, divide them both by two, and I get a half. You see, I'm halfway between one inch and two inches. That's one and one half inch. Uh, for the next one, I'm past an inch. In fact, I'm one quarter past an inch. That is one and one quarter. For this one, I'm past four inches and I'm one quarter past four inches. That's four and one quarter. For the second one here, I'm at past five inches, I'm five and one quarter, two quarters, remember two fourths is a half, and right there is three quarters. So that would be five and three quarters. Now we get started on eighths. So every other line here is an eighth. Notice that they're a little bit longer. So this is one eighth. And there's two eighths, three eighths, and there's four eighths. Now notice that four eighths again is a half. And by the way, I skipped past that, but uh, two eighths, see how they're both even? They both divide by two is one quarter. And if you ever get confused, remember that you can go back and count by quarters anytime you want. One quarter, two quarters, three quarters. I left off at four eighths, so now we have five eighths, and right there is six eighths, six eighths, and six over eight, they're both even, divide them both by two, it's three fourths. You can go back and count by quarters again. So let's see, that was six eighths, and the next one is seven eighths, and then when I get to one, that's eight eighths, and 8 eighths, of course, is 1. 8 divided by 8 is 1. So every other line, they're a little bit longer, that's how you identify them, are eighths. So when I look at this one, it's 4, and that next longest line there, past the short line, is 1 eighth. This is 4 and 1 eighth. For the first one on this page, I'm past one, I get one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, and five eighths. That is one and five eighths. For the second one, again, I'm one number past five, so that's five and one eighth. For the last one here, I'm at one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, 
four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths. That's four and seven eighths. These last examples, I'm going to count in eighths, but the last few examples here, they all simplify to either quarters or halves, uh, something like what we originally started with. But I'm going to stick with eighths because you need to see the relationship. So on this first one, I'm four and one eighth, two eighths. Now remember that two over eight, both even, is one fourth, three eighths. 4 eighths, 4 eighths is a half, 5 eighths, and 6 eighths. So this is 6 eighths, and 6 eighths, they're both even, divide them both by 2, is 3 fourths. So this, in fact, is 4 and 3 fourths. This next one is 1 and 1 eighth, 2 eighths, 3 eighths, 4 eighths, five eighths and six eighths and just like the last one six eighths they're both even divide by two you get three fourths and like i said a little bit ago you can always count by fourths if you want one fourth two fourths three fourths so this is one and three fourths the third one here if i count by eights this is four and one eighth and two eighths and two over eight they're both even divide them both by two is one fourth that's a fourth of the way I could have counted by fourths too so this is four and one fourth the last one and I I'm sure you recognize it I'm right in the middle but again let's count by eighths for practice one eighth two eighths two eighths is a fourth three eighths and four eighths and four eighths they're both even in this case they actually both divide by four divide them both by four and four over eight divide by four is one over two it's one half so this is just a half of an inch